Welcome back to Football Daily. It's lovely to have you with me, Dave. Adam, Hello. both looking very summery today. Thanks. Summer means transfers, right? It does. That's what we're looking at. So let's talk Arsenal first of all. Yes. A little review of who they've bought so far. Oh, they got Sanchez. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Great signing. I think he may even play centrally. Yeah. Maybe Giroud will be pushed out to the bench and Sanchez will be, be the main man in a way. I think he, at Udinese, when he was playing centrally, drifting out to the wide position, scored a lot of goals, did really well. For Barcelona, he scored 19 goals in the league last yeah. season. Only Diego Costa, Ronaldo and Messi scored more goals, so he's got the calibre. At the World Cup for Chile, he was absolutely awesome. He was, he was the standout player for Chile at the World Cup. He yeah. was, yeah. 22 take-ons in the group stages, more than any other player. So he could really go past a man, beat a man, so score some goals, got the assist. Well. Yeah. I, I, he's just going to add so much to that team. It's, it's really exciting for me. It's also quite interesting though, Adam, because I mean, they've got Debushi as well, mm -hmm. Ospina. Um, and I mean, in many ways, a lot of people were doubting whether Arsenal was still one of the clubs that people want to go to. But signing Alexis Sanchez and signing Debushi, two starters and two really critical players internationally and for their team last season, that's, a, that's huge for Arsenal because it validates a lot of what they're trying to build. Yeah, I think especially Sanchez is obviously a very good signing for them. There was the talk, is he going to go to Liverpool, is he going to go to Arsenal? Obviously, he sort of chose Arsenal. He chose, he chose London. He chose London, yes. yes. Yeah, it's Brendan Rodgers. But yeah, Sanchez very good, as Dave saying, very versatile. Can play on the right, can play up front. So I think he'll probably play on the right until Walcott comes back from his injury. Um, Debussy as well, solid signing. I'm not sure. I'm surprised they didn't go for Serge Aurier. But Debussy is sort of low risk, proven starter. So yeah, I think they're, they're good signings so far. It's just they've, they've just got to add a few to that. And that's probably the question, isn't it? That they have not maybe addressed some of the issues that they have in the squad. Defensively, I'd say potentially they need another centre back. I do like Mertesacker and Koscielny, but I think that they do need another leader. Yeah. The problem is, who, was me and David were saying beforehand, who, who can they buy these central defenders today? If they let Thomas from Ireland go, who can they really bring in? It's a good question. As a backup to Mertesacker and Koscielny. They can't obviously play third every choice? single game. Maybe it's sort of third choice yeah. backup. You need so who comes? Someone like Dante? Dante say Dante would be, be a yeah. great shout. Maybe even Diego Godin at, mm -hmm. at Atletico Madrid if they get him and then they just give him that responsibility. It was awesome at Atletico Madrid last season. They kept the kept the most clean sheets in the whole of Europe. So they bring someone in like that that can be the pinnacle of their defence. Then you know they'll be absolutely laughing. Do you think signing Sanchez? Yeah. Very good player, world class. Perhaps is he the sign in a sort of a transform Arsenal into this team? They're going to be title challenges now. They got Ozil. Well, look at that front line. Huh? That's what mm. I was going to say. Is that's Giroud. quite the front. Well, it's a great four for <laughs> yeah. Giroud in a sense, isn't it? Yeah. Giroud can head it down. Sanchez is a perfect player to pick up on uh, that. They got a lot of options. I mm. think because they were saying he's so versatile. Sanchez on the right, Walcott, yeah. Oxlade Chamberlain, Podolski on the left. So there are a lot of options there. Gazzola as well these days. I mean, so, Ozil, Ozil is yeah looking quite happy with what, what he's doing for Germany. So yeah, why can't he yeah, do the same for? Uh, yeah, they got a lot of strength in depth. I think the main areas, perhaps as well as central defence, like we're saying, the backup for Mert Schack and Castellani is um, midfield, a more defensive, defensive minded. Midfield, yeah, yeah, exactly. They've sort of lacked that player for a while now. I think Flamini last season did yeah. the job for them. But they need someone who's either in their prime or coming up to their prime who's going to do that job for them. Morgan Schneiderlin, of course, is the name that's always mentioned. That's an interesting shout, yeah. William Carvalho in the mm. last few days is the latest player to be linked. So I think if they can sign someone like that, that would make them a lot more solid. I think those games against Chelsea Man City last year, they just walked through that midfield. So if they have someone like that mm. to just get a steal. I think Luis Gustavo, I think he could be the man. Obviously, he's been linked with them before. 22 interceptions in the World Cup, more than any other player. He's a leader, can tackle. He's their man, I reckon, at defensive midfield. I think that with Arteta, I think it's sort of sliding by that way where you want to play the you know play the sideways passes just keep the ball i think you've really got to move on now and you've got to have that physical presence again it's sort of going back to the makaleli days where you need a defensive midfielder i don't think arsenal have that in flamini or arteta so i think they do definitely like adam was saying they need to strengthen that area break and distribute right yeah, yeah. dream signing mascherano uh, mascherano is a dream signing isn't it unbelievable never happened Thank you very much for watching Football Daily. It's been lovely to have you. Let us know who you think Arsenal should sign in the comments below. 